All right, I am off for my first day on the Fisherman's Trail, and I am leaving the town. It's right back here of Porto Covo, and I've got, I think, a 19-kilometer stage today, and oh, this has been such a good start already. I feel right now like I'm forgetting something. <laughs> I think this happens a lot oh, when I'm first starting a trip, and Oh, just kind of settling in and getting used to being in a new place. And I met some people in the hostel and just had some coffee. And it was so nice to like start this off chatting with a few others. And oh, well, now I'm going uphill. <laughs> so I'm breathing heavy. Should probably do more of an update once I get to the top of this hill. All right, so here's an example of the signage for this trail. And I've heard the signing is very good. So. The Rota Vincentina, it's all in blue and green. This is where I'm headed, Villanova de Milfontes, 19 and a half kilometers. Direction this way. Today's stage is going to be, I think, mostly along the coast. Um, I think it's supposed to be the, one of the more difficult stages because a lot of the walking is gonna be, well, at least some of it, maybe five kilometers over the sand, and that can be, just really challenging to walk through. So I'm excited though. <laughs> just, it's not raining. The day might clear up a little. So I have for this walk, I bought a pair of gaiters. So my pants are covering most of them, but this little cloth that kind of goes around your ankle and then kind of covers the top of your shoe and the back of it so that hopefully sand you know, prevents sand and pebbles and grit from getting into your shoes. And this is the first time I've ever had a pair. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and see what it's like. I'm hoping it means I won't have to stop all the time to shake sand out of my shoes, but we'll see. So that is my new piece of gear for this hike. Okay, some thoughts so far. It is, um, I think, more, way more crowded, <laughs> crowded than I thought it was going to be. Um, I, from the little bit of reading that I've done about this trail, I've just heard that like, oh yeah, maybe you'll see a few other hikers, but it's pretty quiet. Um, and I think probably, you know, one of the reasons it's more crowded, I would think, is that I'm walking kind of right around the Easter holidays. So I think a lot more people have off but my hostel last night was pretty full and I just saw so many hikers this morning in the cafe, walking down the street. There are a couple up ahead, but I kind of gave myself a slightly later start <laughs> so that I could potentially um, walk in a bit of peace and quiet. So, uh, so there's that, so a lot more hikers than I thought. And oh, what else? Like, Alrighty, let's just turn around to see what I'm gonna be walking along. Look at this. Oh, I think this is gonna be so much of what this walk is gonna be like, just walking along the coast. I feel like as ever, so lucky, so grateful to be here. Um, you know, whenever I start a walk, like yesterday was my travel day. Like I flew overnight and then flew into Lisbon and was traveling to get here and I was just tired, had a little jet lag you know, just figuring out, you know, being in a new place and where to go. And, and sometimes again, I had this thought of like, what if this is too much for my spring break? It's gonna be a quick trip. I'm walking the whole time, but already, already just being here and getting to be here to do this, I feel so, so, so happy, okay. Well, I'm gonna focus on this trail for a little bit and just take it all in, so I'll be back soon. And there's a rope <laughs> to get myself up here. So right now, the trail just kind of came sort of steeply down here, this tiny little cove. And it looks like there's a rope to help me get up. So 
last night I stayed in Ahoy Puerto Covo Hostel, I think it's called. Um, and it was such a cute little place. The owner, Nicolau, was so, so kind. He is so helpful to everyone who is starting this hike. He had a big map and he just point out, pointed out the different stages and just kind of places where we need to pay attention or beautiful beaches to walk across. Um, so it just was such a nice, nice way to start this trip. Uh, one of the women that I met, she recognized me from YouTube. So hi, Allie. <laughs> um, it was just such for me, you know, it still kind of takes me aback when people recognize me. Not that many people have so far, but sometimes it's almost like I forget when I make and share these videos that there are actually other people watching, which is uh, such a cool thing though and I'm so grateful for and for me to kind of the very beginning of this hike to feel kind of known and it almost made me feel like I belonged a little more and so that was I don't know just a really really special way to start so good hostel already met such kind people and and this is the way I guess to start the walk so very very happy this morning have messed up somewhere. I detoured away from the path because there's supposed to be an area you can walk on the beach, but I can't figure out how to get down there. <laughs> so I'm walking along this path. Although actually coming up, there might be a little way down. Let's see. Let's see. No, not really. Huh. <laughs> Maybe let's check it out over here. And it's not a big deal because I can get back to the trail, but I kind of looked over the edge. Now I think it's going to be real steep behind me to get down. Although, I'm just going to keep going straight. We'll see. There might be a way to get down on the beach. If not, I can always get back to the main path. Or there are all these little trails kind of in the sand that are taking me in the right direction at least. But it would be very nice to walk on the beach because the sand is more flat and it's harder packed so I don't have to kind of be walking wading through all this loose sand which is a workout who it slows me down too okay so we're gonna see if we can get down to the beach I kind of made it <laughs> so now I'm on a little path next to the rocks but I have to climb over these rocks to get down to the beach and it might be a little precarious so I'm gonna walk Think a little further this way and see if there's going to be an easy spot to join the beach. I made it to the end of the rocks and I think I just have to cross through here. My feet might get a little bit wet, but then I think I can walk on the beach. We'll see. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to. <laughs> Oh, but hopefully already wow oh this walking is so much nicer and there's some other footsteps here so maybe I'll just follow these footsteps I think my gaiters have done pretty well I haven't taken my shoes off and I might maybe a little bit later but I don't think I got much sand in them so I am happy with this purchase and also I just stopped for a break and I have been carrying a croissant with me so I'm gonna sit here up on the rocks, enjoy the view, and take my first break. Walking in the sand is no joke. <laughs> oh boy, I am not moving quickly. I don't know that anyone really can. Um, it is gorgeous out. The sun came out. This isn't actually the best spot to take a video because just moved a little bit away from the coast, but uh, it is just gorgeous out getting warm and took off my long sleeve shirt trudging through the sand all good
found a spot to make a sandwich, take off my shoes, sit on the sand with a beautiful view. And I just want to say my gaiters work beautifully. No sand at all in my shoes. Ah, oh, it's incredible. What a great invention. Not too far from my destination. I think I'll be there in five to 10 minutes. Looks like I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere, but <laughs> I'm getting close. back to my hostel it's a little after eight o'clock and the sun just set like 10 minutes ago but it is an overcast night so it's already feeling like it's getting dark and I just had dinner out a nice... that dog just terrified me wasn't barking at me anyway so I just had a nice dinner out well that made me laugh um, I'm still just laughing at these dogs there are all these cats out I think because it's like very dusky right now, it's almost kind of creepy. I don't know. Anyway, heading back to the hostel, which is right up the road. And I'm in a room with only two bunk beds. There was only one other person there when I left a little bit earlier. So it might not even be a full room, but looking forward to a good night's sleep and very excited to see what tomorrow brings. It's been a really good walk so far. And all right, I'm turning in more tomorrow.